Well, hi there, it's Liz Prothero, and welcome to this University Success Campus video on decision making. This video is designed to help you to make good decisions, and good decisions are the sort of thing that are made by all successful people because they have the tools, they know how to do it. And so in this uh, video, we're going to be using mind mapping as a technique to help you to create all the ideas that are going to help you to make your decision. So without further ado, we're going to launch in and make a decision. Let's make a start. Okie dokie. Let's just move that one out of the way a little bit. So the main idea in this, um, in this decision making video is going to be why go to university? So why go to uni? Let's just get that sorted. Why go to uni? And I'm sure that's uppermost in the mind of many of you nowadays. Let's just move it a little bit further this way and then we've got plenty of space to, to make our decision making. OK, so why go to university? Well, I guess the obvious answer is to get a degree. To get a degree. OK, let's just link those two together. And delete that one. To get a degree. Now, why would you want to get a degree? Well, you might see getting a degree as some form of personal development, perhaps. Maybe some form of personal development. OK, maybe, maybe not. OK, another thing that you might think is uh, something to get from a degree is get me a good job. OK, get me a good job. But what sort of job? Do you know? Have you any idea what sort of job you really want? So what job? It's all well and good going to university saying, well, I'm going there because it's going to get me a good job. But actually, it will be a really good idea to know what job. And that job, if you've thought about what it might be, will there be any more training involved in either getting that job or in progressing in that job. So more training, maybe. Is that something you want or something you don't want? Really need to consider that. OK, so what about any other reasons for going to university? What about what other reasons might there be for going to university? Well, do you know something? A lot of people go to university because they're expected to do so. Okay, they're expected to do so. Who might expect you to do so? Well, parents maybe. Is it to satisfy your parents that you're thinking about going to university or is it to satisfy yourself? And who else might be putting pressure on you or expecting you to go? Or maybe your teachers or your school, yeah, or your college. All of those may be expecting you to go to university. So what you need to think about is whether you want to go for your own reasons rather than just to please them. So why else might you want to go to university? Well, you might want to go to university because you think it's going to be fun. How about that? University might be great fun. And sure, that's the case for many, many people. It certainly was when I went. And fun could encompass because you enjoy going to parties. Whoops, need to be able to spell. But you like going to parties. That might be part of the fun. Or it might be that you think you're going to make lots of friends at university. And contacts, because the key thing there is it's friends, it's a network, it's contacts for the future. Now, the, um, the key factor here is will you choose friends? Will you choose these friends? Or will you be chosen by people? 
Are you going to play an active role or a passive role in doing this? Who's going to do the choosing? Will you choose or will you be chosen as a friend? OK, let's go back to uh, why go to university and think of some other some other uh, possibilities. Why else might we want to go to university? What about independence? Independence from your family. OK, there we are. And what might what form might that independence take? Well, it may in many cases mean moving away from home. Moving away from home. Okay. Or if there are financial constraints, it may not mean moving away from home. So we might want to put there or not. Or not. And is that a factor that matters to you? What about the financial independence? The first time in your life, you may have to be responsible for running your own finances. So we might put running own finances. OK, so all part and parcel of going away from home and becoming independent. Let's just have a little zip back to why go to university. OK, so. There are many consequences, aren't there, of, of going to university, some good consequences, some not so good consequences. Let's have a think about what they might be. So consequences of going to university. The most obvious one that I can think of is debt. And debt matters. But one of the key things that you're going to have to think about with the debt is whose debt? Whose debt? Is it going to be? Whose debt? Is it going to be yours? Yours? And you'll be responsible for paying that off over the next, let's say, 20 years, maybe 30 years. Or might it be your parents' debt? Parents' debt. In which case they may be remortgaging their house or they may be dipping into their retirement fund or whatever it happens to be for their own uh, for their own finances. Not only who's debt, but how much debt? How much debt? Because that's a big consideration, isn't it? Whether it's yours or your parents, how much debt? The most recent research for the UK says that a three year course will leave a student in £60,000 worth of debt. That's to cover the tuition fees and all the living expenses of three years at university. £60,000 is a lot of money. One of the things you might want to consider, if we go back to um, the other side of our mind map, is why do we go for, get a degree? To get me a good job. Well, a good job will be absolutely necessary to cover £60,000 worth of debt. So you can see this all links. And in a moment, when we've filled in a few more bubbles, we'll have a look at a different version of this map because that might help us to get our ideas really sorted. OK, so what else might we want to think about with why go to university? Well, one obvious thing that we've not put in so far, and there's a little bit more space, so let's uh, let's put it in is what the alternatives might be. Okay, so what are the alternatives to going to university? Because sometimes we can just feel completely railroaded into going. I know I did, and you know it happened to be the right decision at that time for me. But what I didn't do at the time, and should certainly have done, is considered what the alternatives might have been. So what can alternatives be? Well, we might want to do a training scheme. There are loads of training schemes in all sorts of skills, from plumbing to, uh, to being an electrician to being an accountant. As an accountant myself, I know there's fantastic accountancy training schemes around. If that's what I wanted to do nowadays, I certainly wouldn't be looking at going to university. 
And deeper inside the university success campus, we will be looking at lots of alternatives to go into university um, so that you can make your decisions uh, really in a, a, more, um, a more informed way. So training schemes, we might want to do a bit of research on those. And as I said, the University Success Campus will help you with that, but let's pop that as an idea now, more research. Knowledge is always useful. Knowledge is power? Well, maybe not necessarily, but the application of knowledge is certainly power. Okay, what, what about some other alternatives? Get a job, a job, good old J-O-B. Okay, so let's pop that somewhere else. Let's just move that one, I think, a little bit, if we can. No, it's not going to move, is it? Okay, let's leave it there for now. Let's get a job. Um, the other alternative is we may not be able to get a job. So we may be looking at unemployment. Hopefully not you. Hopefully not you once you're part of the University Success Campus because we've got loads of techniques, loads of, um, loads of training and tools to ensure that you never need face unemployment because you'll always be able to create your own employment. Okay, the other thing with the uh, job that actually, while we're here, we might as well just think about just for a moment, is the sort of job that you could get as a result of leaving school and not going to university. Is that job going to be as well paid or even maybe better paid than the job that you get after you graduate? The other thing to consider is something called the time value of money. Time value of money, I'll pop that in now. Time value of money means that if you earn money or get money now, it's worth more than money in the future. So let's just link these two. Job link to time value of money. Okay. So earning a job now where you're starting on, say, a salary, a UK salary of uh, £20,000 a year may be better value to you than waiting three years, delaying three years, and then starting on a salary of £25,000, all worth adding into the mix. Okay, let's get back to um, to our main, main part of the mind map. It's looking a bit complicated at the moment, but you'll see in a minute, I shall uh, show you an outline view, which makes it much more easy to, to understand. But let's just go back to consequences a minute, because I haven't finished with consequences. There are other consequences other than debt if you go to university. You may love it. Okay? But you may not. You may actually hate it. Or you may hate it. Or you may love it, but you may not like the course. You may end up very, let's just um, get rid of that one. I don't like that one there. Um, you may love it, but not like the course. So disappointed in course. Okay. And the obvious end result of that is that you quit. So you may end up quitting the course if you're disappointed in it. And of course, we can link, you may hate it as well. And if you hate it, well, you've got a choice, haven't you? You either carry on and have the debt or you choose to quit. There we are, quit. Lovely. Okay, well, that's uh, there's a lot on that mind map there. Just so you know, I'm sure that you're familiar with mind maps from school. If you're not, then you need to get familiar. Mind maps are something that was invented by a chap called Tony Buzan, who's made a lot of money out of it. Um, but he invented mind maps as a way of being creative with ideas. And being creative with ideas helps you to make decisions. What I've got with this little piece of software is we can turn this mind map, which we've we've produced in a creative manner, we can put it onto what we call outline view, which 
then gives us a list, a linear version of everything that we captured into this mind map. So why go to university? Well, firstly, maybe to get a degree and all the things that came out of that. So part of personal development, getting me a good job, what sort of job. We might go to university because we're expected to do so. Well, who's doing the expecting? Parents and teachers. We might go because it's fun. All those areas of fun, parties and friends. We might, we might make the choice because we want to be independent. So moving away from home or not. What about running your own finances? Are there any consequences of going to university? Well, yes, the biggie ones are debt. Um, you may love it, you may hate it. What are the alternatives? There are training schemes. We might want to do more research on those. We could get a job. Getting a job now may actually help us because of the time value of money. Of course, the, the worst thing that could happen is we choose not to go to university and we're unemployed. Or alternatively, of course, we may go to university, get the degree and be unemployed at the end of it. OK, let's just go back to that mind map. What I'm going to do is just pop it, make it a little bit smaller so that you can see the mind map as a whole. And there we are. There we are. I hope that's been useful. You can download a PDF of this mind map, which should help you to get into the habit of making that decision. Just so you know, the bit of software that I'm producing this on is called Inspiration. And I bought it on eBay. I believe it was about 20 quid. And I found it a fantastic tool for any sort of creativity that, uh, that I want to pursue in terms of ideas. So hope that's been helpful to you. Really look forward to uh, seeing you on the next University Success Campus video. In the meantime, University Success Campus always says, aim high, be all that you can be and keep on climbing.